Hello, everyone. This is Necro13, and he's very good at explaining what is what. But in the end, he will fail because he's unaware of the motivations behind the people he's talking to. Let's see what he has to say. Because it's a niche game that you bring up all this time in this entire video. So, of course, its fan base isn't going to be huge in the tens of millions, but it's still a game seller nonetheless. And as long as they love doing what they do, then I don't see a problem with it. Especially when see, see, the trouble with what you're doing now here, you're talking to a Puritan furry, right? What's going on here? This, this fury, furry, I'm calling him fury, has a problem with this fan service game, right? And you're trying to explain all the details of it. But this guy, this furry, I guarantee you, does not care about the fan service. What he cares about is status. He's a frustrated, low status man, Necro. And what he wants to do is he wants to up the status of the things he loves, right? It's frustration. It's actually very destructive. I, I want to compare it to people. Um, this is, you know who this is. This is Arcada from Glass Reflection. Great anime reviewer. And let's see if I can get the other guy up here. And of course, your, your friend, <laughs> the anime man. The difference between these guys is that Arcada, you know, just a minute. I just think, okay, sorry about that. I had to get my thoughts in order. We're status thinking, uh, thinking listen, seeking animals. Human beings are status-seeking animals, but there's a huge range, right? There's some guys who are very low and other guys are very high. Arcata here is low status from what I can see. That is, he's low on the status-seeking. And you'll notice he's very happy in his skin. And he's very happy about doing what he does. The anime man, though, I believe is at the other end, he's at the extreme. And that's why even though you have, Australia just been just banned hentai and I'm very angry, he's angry at this. I saw uh, a clip where he was for centering Boko no Piku. Hopefully I got the name right. Apparently it's one where it was underage sex, but all of a sudden he's willing to censor stuff day like that, right? Why does he do it? Because these guys, including this furry that you're talking about, they're, they want the arena that they're in to rise in status. Enemy man, he's probably, he has like what? Two million, over two and a half million subs. So he's very high status in his arena, but his arena itself is low status. Do you understand, Necro? This is what this is about. This is the motivation. These guys are frustrated. This furry you're talking to is frustrated because he, low status men get abused on a regular basis. They're always the <laughs> object of attacks. That's just the way it is. So, they're desperately trying to clean it out. Like say, okay, get rid of everything that people can point at at anime and that, that would be sketchy, get rid of it. And anime will rise, not just in popularity, but in status. But it's a waste of time because anime is low status because low status guys like you and me enjoy it. And the low status man that you and me are despised. And so I'll always be low status. Thank you. Are playing on a controller, and I, and I know you probably are, because I play Sinrin Kager games with a controller myself. Um, just use the right stick. It, it literally moves the camera around, and then you can see. So you're wasting your time, because this guy isn't about the game mechanics. This furry is all about uh, cleaning up, you know, games and anime. 
so he can stop being embarrassed. You know, it's his self-loathing. Or you can lock onto an enemy and then it moves with you. And while the game is very frustrating to play, for starters, the game features long transformation animations and a stripping mechanic as in you can lose your clothes. It sounds one step away from being a porn game besides having the characters being nude, which thanks to this game being on the PC means that it's just a suggested Google search away. Of course, these mods might be honeypots by Chris Hansen as well, considering how most of the characters are underage and it doesn't change the fact that you're sick if you download them. The furry says, huh, those pesky gamers, they're going to download those nude mods for this anime titty game. I, I don't think Chris Hansen really gives a shit. I think that he's really just focused on capturing real criminals. You just lost this. This debate or the discussion or this explanation, whatever you want to call it, Necro. Chris Hansen is a scumbag. Understand? He's not about capturing real criminals. You know what, what this pedo hysteria is about? It's, guess what? It's all about the male hysteria. You know, it's, it's the male pedo. In other words, the low status guy like you is going to be the target, even though you're innocent of it. Now, let me show you something. This is a video of mine talking about uh, a female pedophile, right? This is a teacher. And there's all kinds of, of these women that are being caught now, right? The thing is, no one's searching for them, Necro. This woman got caught in spite of everything. So this Chris Hansen scumbag, what, the way it's geared up is to tra try and go after male pedos specifically. So it's not re really about pedophilia. Understand, this is not a concern for children. This is a seek and destroy mission for low status men. So you could be watching this game he's talking about, this, this freeze talking about, and all of a sudden maybe you're branded as a pedo, even though you're not one. And so the last thing you should be doing is giving rope to this uh, low life, this what is this furry, this frustrated, low status, self loathing young man. Your video is a failure now. <laughs> Don't give into the frame of reference. Everyone knows that I am not a big fan of Lolly. I, I think, you know, people that enjoy it are probably okay people, I would assume. But I don't actively engage with it myself because I don't kind of care. But... Well, there you go. This You're making uh, my point for me. You are... You're into anime and games. Uh, and, of course, you can live and let live, Right. You, you can see it as a huge arena where there's all types and kinds in. But this young fella, he's not really a Puritan. He's a frustrated status seeker. And he wants his arena to rise in status, right? So he's looking to get rid of all the nerds, but he himself would have to leave no matter where he goes. He'll be a low status man and despised by society. So I hope, Necro, you understand, like, look, you explaining these things to these people is like a black man explaining to the KKK members how he's really just a nice guy. He, I'm a really good guy. Yeah, there are black men that are criminals, but I'm not one. I'm a really nice guy. This is what it's like. You know, these guys, even though this freaking furry is a low status man himself, he despises guys like you. He's, he's self-loathing. He despises himself. Well, this art looks offensive and it's of an underage character that's not real. And then they have to disregard those and they have less time to actually capture 
real pedophiles on any given website. So thanks for thanks. Like I said, this woman, she had to be caught by showing her hand. She had to wave a great big flag saying, hello, I am a pedo. I slept with a 12 year old boy because they're not looking for her, Necro. They're not looking for her. So these sites that are actually looking for pedos, I despise them. I spit on them because I know it does not come from a concern for children. It comes from the despising of the average guy like you and me walking the street. They want to smear us as pedos, even though we're not. We have to be villainized. Understand? Thanks for telling us that this is a honeypot and that we need to report those people. I know you didn't say that exactly, but it's just really the hint that you're giving away. Of the course. Of course he is. Right? That's what he wants. Of course, this fool hopes that he won't be targeted, but he is the demographic being targeted. See? Do you understand? So he's what he is is a guy who's hoping that other men get destroyed for his benefit. And you're wasting your time, Necro, engaging with these guys. If you engage with them, you just call them out. And this is what your video that's calling him out is a failure at it. Because you, you, I can't say you avoid the motivation. I think you simply don't realize what his motivations are. Okay, so I, this is all I have to say. I think I've made my point. And I actually, I'm sub to you. I actually quite like your material, but I just want to give you a heads up. Thank you.